15 months ago, I discovered I can use heat to fuse corpus together. And that's a really big step for me to build a much better corpus boat. And this also gave me different options in building a boat. But there's a problem with the hand tools I have and it's difficult to control the heat during the fusing process. The result is not as consistent as I would like to. Sometimes very good, sometimes not that good. Sometimes I have to redo it. Today, I have uh, exciting things to show you. My friend Nate, he came up with a new method of fusing corpus together. It is so easy to do, and we all can do it at home. And the result is very good because I can control the thermal aspect of the fusion. And there are still rooms to improve to make this process even better. I've done different experiments and I'm going to show you the result in this video. Let's take a look. Firstly, I'm going to look at fusing the corpus sheet in this direction. Then I look at in this direction. And finally, I'll look at perpendicular, the channels are perpendicular to each other, see if there are issues. I'm glad my wife doesn't watch my YouTube channel, otherwise she will be very upset seeing me using her iron to make bolts. People have been using similar methods to fuse the plastic sheet and also with the pack raft, they use it to fuse the fabrics together. My friend Nate, I think he's the first one I've seen using this method to fuse the coil plus. Using this has a better thermal control. I expect the result would be better. Um, I will find out. Firstly, I put the parchment paper, which we use to make cakes and cookies. Now I, I press on it, see how it works. I'm using 6mm thick corpus, so it may take a while for the heat to penetrate through and able to melt it. The melting point of corpus is at around 320 degrees Fahrenheit and it takes patience to fuse the sheets together. I should have waited for the corpus to cool down a little bit before I attempt to pull the paper away from the corpus. If you are careful, you can reuse the parchment paper. I used a little bit more pressure and both layers were collapsed and fused it together. They are very strong and like a solid piece of plastic. I wonder if I can fold it. The surface of the joint doesn't look good but it is really strong and it is a very good way to fuse two sheets together. This time I tried not to apply too much pressure during fusion so that I won't collapse both sheets. I just want the top sheet to be collapsed and fused it to the bottom sheet of the corpus. I lift up the edge of the paper to check the condition of the fusion. I have to check it a few more times and finally I'm happy with the result. Because the iron is 4 inches wide, heat is applied to those areas that shouldn't be heated. But for now it's okay. The bonding is excellent. The look of the top is expected, a little bit rough. However, the bottom is really good, very smooth. These two sheets will be fused together with the channels aligned in this fashion. This is a very common way of doing it when you're trying to fuse two large sheets together. Looks good. It's very hot. Okay, I think that's good enough. The best part of this method is so it looks very nice. This 
this side looks really nice. I try not to push too hard on the coil first. The bottom piece doesn't collapse. But the edge here, you can see, there's an edge here. There's a slight bend here too, which can be correct easily. So this side is very good. I think it's very solid. This is a solid piece of plastic. And uh, I don't know, I will try to bend and see how good it can bend. I can see if I can fold at the joint. It's not, it's not easy. Let's see how it looks like. Ooh, a simple fold, probably is okay. Yes, it can still be fold. And it doesn't crack. The good thing is, because I'm concerned about the cracking. The chain on this one going this way, I'm trying to overlapping it at a 90 degree and see how it goes. That's a part experiment. I'm using a regular paper because the temperature is 420 degree uh, uh, burning point. The surface temperature is not even. Some area is hotter, like here, around 300. Down here, getting less. So the heat seems to be more concentrated at the top part of this iron. The paper is browned a little bit, but it doesn't burn. And the joint here is very good. Yeah, very strong. So there's no issue in trying to do this kind of joint. And it actually is very nice. I would expect it would be water, watertight too, because the, the fuse it feels very evenly. Yeah, it it works. It's draw. You can feel it's draw, and it overlap it by about two two inches, and should do some destructive tears if possible. So the only drawback is because the heating surface is too big. It it. A kind of damage that this the other areas too, but it should still work. It doesn't make it. It doesn't look that good. Using paper is okay because uh, it doesn't cost much. Uh, the paper attached here is still fine because when water gets in, probably it will, it will come off. Thanks for watching. And in the next video, I'm going to compare the new method versus the old method and when will I use the new method and when will I use the old method please stay tuned thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed please do so that you will be notified when I upload another video again thanks for watching bye